Pleasant, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Um, Mr. President, when do you plan to sign the agreement? At least I know that they're going bankruptcy today. Do you plan to do that this afternoon? Uh, we're, they're negotiating, and I assume there will be something later on today, maybe tonight. I could go till the morning. I'm not sure. It depends on the negotiations. Mr. President, we've heard some dissatisfaction from the, the UMass Boston community with this deal. Is there a rift there that needs to be repaired? Well, certainly we need to work with the UMass Boston community to um, uh, reassure them that this will in no way hurt the Boston campus. And I think uh, you heard the testimony today. There are no plans to have anything that will compete with the Boston campus. Uh, I think the most important thing for the Boston campus is to uh, select a new uh, chancellor. And uh, there are three candidates there and, and to move forward. As I mentioned, UMass Amherst um, in uh, is acquiring this property for internships and co-ops. They're not going to admit students, and it won't compete with the Boston campus. How would this benefit the Boston campus, though? Well, if there can be a collaboration for internships, or if there's something that the business center is doing at UMass Boston, it's it's going to be up to the Boston campus to look at different ways that they could potentially utilize the campus. But UMass Boston had the opportunity to acquire this campus if they wanted to. Maura Healy is uh, investigating the uh, some leaders at Mount Ida about whether they uh, met their fiduciary obligations. Uh, if you were in Barry, uh, the, the President Barry Brown, uh, and if you were in his shoes, would you have handled it differently or would you have done it the same? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. I think the most important thing for the University of Massachusetts was to try to accommodate as many students as we as we could and to try to do what's in the interest of all of our, all five of our campuses at the University of Massachusetts. And I think in the long run, in a year or two, people will look at this and say this was in the interest not only of UMass Amherst, but all of the campuses. What, what is your reaction to the vote by the, the staff at UMass Boston? No, you know. I, I'm going to continue to work with uh, the faculty, the faculty, the, uh, of the core of UMass Boston. Uh, as I say, we're in the final stages of the search for a new chancellor, and I look forward to uh, UMass Boston continuing to grow and uh, continuing to do well. Have you no reached out to the faculty still. there to restore public, to, to restore trust? Pardon me? Have you reached out to the faculty at UMass Boston? I, I was at trust? the Boston campus, yes. I've been out to yeah. the Boston campus a lot. What did you tell the folks? Um, I, I told them pretty much what we said today at the hearing. And uh, how is the uh, fluctuation around UMass, uh, UMass Amherst and Mount Ida impacting the chancellorship search? Has that been coming up at all? Uh, certainly, uh, in the public meetings with the campus, uh, there are discussions about it. Certainly, comes up when I have discussions with folks at UMass Boston, and we're going to continue to have those uh, discussions. A lot of times at universities, there's misinformation that goes back and forth, and we're going to try to clarify the misinformation and, and, and do everything we can to uh, to support UMass Boston in the search process and to get a new a chancellor. And I'm confident that we will. Any misinformation in particular you notice in this? <laughs> There's a lot, and an awful lot. Marty, Marty Walsh talked about potentially taking over UMass Boston, and Steve Lynch, uh, apparently your former colleague, uh, seemed to back him up on, on that notion. Um, any reaction to that? Uh, well, that, that would be significant debt to acquire, but um, look, I think UMass Boston has a great future. I mentioned the fact that um, enrollment is up. Uh, summer school enrollment for this summer is up 30%. Uh, I think UMass Boston is going to be in great shape. What kinds of standards do you think should be put in place around future transactions that you need? It, it's, it, you know, it, each case is taken on an individual basis. A campus has an acquisition. They come to uh, the Board of Trustees. They come to the President's Office. They're evaluated. They're made available to, for the other chancellors to uh, comment on and what's called President's Council meetings, and we'll continue to follow that procedure uh, in the future. Thanks, guys. Thank you.